amigos y amigas, como esta, que tal? Bienvenidos a México. So I just arrived like an hour and a half ago or something here in Puerto Vallarta. It is an amazing, amazing day out there. I'm going to head out there in uh, just uh, two seconds. I am totally uh, wiped out. I had a uh, overnight flight from Portland, Oregon here, leaving at like uh, five in the morning. And uh, I feel like just uh, taking a nap right now, except that it is an amazing day out there. And I'm just ecstatic to be here in Puerto Vallarta for the uh, first time. My second time to Mexico, I was here last four years ago, went to different parts of Mexico. I went to the uh, Yucatan and Chiapas and Oaxaca and Mexico City on uh, that trip. And so I'm just going to do a little uh, walk through here and give some uh, first impressions of Puerto Vallarta. So far it is really, really awesome. It is ultra touristy out here. What I'm going to show first, walk through the uh, beach area and then I will walk through kind of the uh, parts of town away from the uh, beach and it gets a little uh, more mellow. And it's actually a lot more authentic than I expected as far as the architecture and the feel of the city. I thought that it would be a lot more kind of modern and busy and lots of traffic and big skyscrapers and everything, but uh, it is actually quite uh, authentic feeling. Older, like Spanish colonial, um, you know, buildings and it has kind of a uh, mellow feel. It is a smaller city of like a couple hundred thousand. And so, so far it is looking really awesome. So uh, now time to head out there into the warm sunshine and give a taste of Puerto Vallarta. And so this is not the hotel that I'm staying at. I am actually staying at a hostel a little ways away for just uh, $10 a night. So this is that uh, hotel. I just stepped in there so I could do the intro without the wind noise. Hotel Marsal, Marsol, restaurant bar. Maybe I'll go check out the uh, restaurant at some point. But anyways, look at this scene. Man, oh man, is this a change from rainy, gray, overcast, depressing Portland, Oregon? This is exactly what I needed about now. It is early April. Nice bit of a uh, ocean breeze coming off the Pacific here. That is looking west, more or less. This is Playa Los Muertos. Los Muertos Beach, like Beach of the Dead, I guess. So it is about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 27 degrees Celsius. Just perfect. And that water is looking so inviting. Hola. Maybe I'll take a swim in a little bit. It is about uh, four in the afternoon. And that sand looks amazing. There is tons and tons of beach along here. And so I have a hostel for just uh, $10 a night. And it is really nice actually. Maybe I'll show it in a uh, different video later on. Los Pescadores. So it's all in Spanish here. Esta esta tua estatua on honra a todos los pescadores. I should probably stop uh, trying to read that. 31st May 2018, I guess was when this uh, statue was put there. And so uh, hang in there. It is going to get very different in uh, just a few minutes as I step away from this uh, beach uh, restaurant scene and everything here. That looks refreshing. Nice spot for dinner. Once it cools down a bit there. And so I just uh, flew in, as I said, from Oregon with a uh, one-way ticket and am here in Mexico for a undetermined amount of time. I'd say at least a month. And I actually came to this part of Mexico 
because of a different town that is nearby that I was uh, interested in visiting and Puerto Vallarta was the nearest international airport to fly into. And so that's how I ended up here. And then I was reading about Puerto Vallarta in my guidebook. I got a uh, Lonely Planet Mexico guidebook and it sounded pretty nice. So I decided to go ahead and uh, stop here as well. And so I have the hostel book for three days. I'm just going to show a bit more of the beach before I uh, get back into the uh, back streets. Oh man, that feels good. Ocean breeze. I am feeling muy blanco, very white. Time for me to get my tan going. That will definitely be happening. And so I'll be heading next from here to that other uh, town. And then I've been uh, researching other towns in the area and there are some really interesting historical uh, cities that are like uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites with you know, really historical architecture and and of course those will be more authentic than the uh, resort towns along the coast here. So uh, we shall see where I end up and how long I stay in each of these places, but I'm in no hurry at all. I'm just gonna take it a day at a time and enjoy the warmth and mellow vibes here and move on when I'm ready to see something different. Must be some music and stuff going on here. And so it looks like there is a walkway along there. I'll just kind of poke my head down there, but I think I will go back this way. This is where I walked in from the bus. And I will sprinkle in a little bit of, you know, my bad Spanish in the course of this video. Better than nothing, I figure. I took one year of Spanish in high school and also traveled in Mexico for seven weeks the last time. I've also been to Spain, so have, you know, just picked some up. And so you can see just the tourist stuff keeps going that way. Love that guy's style. And so we'll get back here, see another side of Puerto Vallarta, also just called Vallarta. Puerto, of course, means port. And here you have another selection of restaurants, a little bit different. So exchange rate, 19 pesos to one US dollar. But they also use the same dollar symbol. And so you can see there, that looks like $60 for sunglasses. However, that is 60 pesos, I would assume. In which case, that is only three bucks. I think I'll walk this way. I saw some really local looking taquerias. Wow, look at that mural across there. I'll get a closer look at that. Las Peñitas Bar and Grill. Pizza delivery. Amazing. And so back here, then, there will be more of the older buildings 
and you can see the cobblestone streets. I was not expecting this. Nice uh, selection of food trucks there. I just read that it was very touristy here, and so I thought that it was going to be kind of more just built up and and busy feeling and like bigger, you know, wide, more modern streets. But look at this. The cobblestone continues here. Salade de Baleza beauty shop. And then so you can see uh, this is like a main street right here. The uh, bus went right along here and it's not all that busy. Let's see what day is today. Today is a Sunday so I guess that is one reason it would be mellower. Hola amigo. Uh, no gracias. Sure? No, 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 thanks. All right, I said that I was going to uh, drop a little Spanish into this video. Of course, thank you is gracias. Hello is hola. How are you is como esta? Or you can say que tal, which is kind of like more informal, I guess, or que pasa. And I'm sure that there are regional, obviously, differences and my Spanish is very rudimentary, but just to give the uh, general idea. And then counting to 10, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, I think. And then I pretty much lose it after that. Wow, check out this uh, water here. And it looks like there might be kind of a uh, market on the other side. Birds chirping, feeling tropical. Kind of a combination of tropical and dry at the same time somehow. River Cafe Cuisine and Nature. Okay, so not sure if it's a hotel also or just a restaurant, but someone getting a Instagram shot down there on a uh, little swinging seat and then the water around there. So I guess this restaurant is like smack in the middle of this. Maybe this is an estuary, something like that. And check these out. Not sure what that is. It looks kind of similar to uh, tamarind, but maybe something different. They're like bigger. All right, let's uh, pop down here. So I think we are definitely seeing the Sunday effect of things being quieter than usual. Real market, maybe more of a real tourist market. really nice back in here. It is just so chilled out and all these older buildings. And 
not that crowded even. I think it might be going into the uh, low season. Kind of just barely. Winter is the uh, high season when people from the US and Canada are uh, escaping the winter. Looks like fish tacos here. Shrimp tacos. This is awesome. Comida, so that means to eat. So Mediterranean food. Con amor, amor is love, con is with. Co cochinada, maybe that means like restaurant with love. I will mention, you know, more Spanish in upcoming videos at the moment. I can just barely kind of think and talk, so. And I'll end this video back over at the beach there. I can see the ocean up ahead. Oxo, you see lots of these Oxos. They're the uh, popular convenience store. Canuck Cafe. That's funny, because Canuck means Canadian. Probably owned by a Canadian. Wow, such a beautiful costume there, or just normal dress and shirt. Zapataria, so Zapataria means shoe store. Lots of places have the area, like we have a cafeteria, but I guess the area basically means store and so like a, a laundry store I think is a lavan, lavandaria.
Lots more coming from Mexico. Take it easy. Hasta luego.